Hey guys, it's Ginger here. Uh, and today I'm gonna be showing you a very short and simple, just kidding, it's gonna be long. I'm gonna show you a real life example of how to write a song. Coming from a full-time songwriter. I wanted to look good for this video and I was like, this is a songwriting video, why do I need to look good? So, I'm comfortable. A little backstory. I'm a full-time songwriter. I've been writing songs since I was a child. I became full-time about two years ago, two or three years ago. And I just released my first full-length professionally recorded album of 10 songs with the producer from the Lumineers, David Barron. And it's awesome, so check it out, I'll link it below. But let's jump right into it, because I know that you probably don't care. <laughs> All right, so my process for writing a song. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do, and the only thing that I have so far is this uh, melody that I found on my phone as I was deleting old stuff. And I can do a whole video about file management because it's insane trying to manage creativity. Yeah. Bum, bum. literally all I have. Yesterday I was eating dinner alone and I wrote some lyrics at the dinner table because I didn't know what else to do. And I had a melody for these lyrics. Okay, so as you can see in this Google Doc, I literally just have a bunch of stuff. A bunch, a bunch of stuff. Wow, I was drinking and I just wrote. <laughs> I wasn't drinking that much. I'm not much of a drinker, just to be clear. Um, okay. So. Um. So this is, this is literally my process. I write about what's going on in my life. And usually I have a melody. Let me just get the melody real quick. Okay, so usually when I'm writing lyrics, I... I just hear a melody because I've been writing songs so much. In this case, I was listening to the music at the restaurant and I don't really know much about music theory, so I end up coming up with my own melody. Um, and the melody is And this is how I find the chords and everything. I just do the melody. So I assume it would be C. And I can make more videos about that and how I do that. And the lyrics I have are Run a tub and pop that top, this is I don't drink that much, I promise, pop that top Run a tub and pop that top, dun 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 And I wanted the hook to be, this is my season Because I feel like a lot of people can relate to that Like, you know, this is, this, this is my time, it's my time now, finally, to like, take charge and do stuff so, and as you can see, there's not much conf- uh, This is a very organic round process. It's not really a square process. Let's get super, this makes no sense vibes. I don't know. I just sort of play with everything until it feels good. <laughs> oh my God. Run. And I, I just, I just kind of sing it until it sings nicely. And the core of this process is to be genuine. To be, to, to sing about things that you genuinely feel and genuinely say. Because that's the best, funnest thing you can do, I think. Um... So this almost feels like a pre-chorus. Run a tub and pop that top. 
Can't stop now. This is so corny, but it's like, start with something corny. Can't stop now. This is my time. Run, run my tub and pop that top. Can't stop now. This is my time. That's the chorus. This is my season. I got the feeling. Oh, yeah. This is my season. I got the feeling. Oh, yeah. Can't stop. Can't stop my dreaming. This is almost like a chorus B. Oh, my God. I love songwriting so much. Can't stop my dreaming. I got the feeling, oh yeah, this is my season. I got the feeling, oh yeah. Summer vibes, summer vibes. Okay, so I literally already have my chorus. I, I've taken Ryan Tedder's songwriting course. I've taken so many songwriting courses. I'm literally taking like my sixth songwriting course. The chorus is the most important part of the song. Start with your chorus. Start with your concept. That's like the literally the root and the whole song grows from that concept slash chorus. And the melody of the chorus is so important. Literally, I can make a whole video about writing a melody to a chorus. Oh my god, this is so interesting. Okay, so if you didn't, if you, if you haven't noticed, I changed the chords. This is my season. hard to film a video while I'm doing this because I would literally record that right now. Let's just shh. I like songwriting is such a flow that I'm so frustrated now, right now that I have to download this app to record voice memos on my computer. Okay I got it. So typically I wouldn't be recording a video right now on my phone. I'd be recording the audio and I would just do a quick this is my feeling Okay. This is my season. I got the feeling. Oh, yeah. This is my season. Mm. I got the feeling. Oh, yeah. Can't stop my dreaming. I got the feeling. See, I, I didn't record it. So I just had to get the melody of dun, dun, na, na, of that initial thing we had to come up with. Run the tub and pop that top. Can't stop me now. Dun, dun. Run the tub and pop that top. Can't stop me now. Dun, 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 dun.
Uh, so this is from a real experience. I feel like that's the best way to write a song is from a real experience. I took a tub. It's my first time in my life I ever had a drink in the bath. <laughs> I thought it was really cool. I was eating some chips and uh, something else. Can't remember. But um, I feel like this this song is very genuine to me because this I I sort of feel like this is the season of my life. Like it's false to think that you hit achievement at some point but I feel like I'm finally able now to be my genuine self and you know like accept my gifts and my faults and sort of move on from there so that's the concept of the song it's always good to just write concept at the top of your lyric sheet if I could actually spell it concept and just write whatever your concept is so therefore when you're writing your lyrics and you're writing your verses and your bridges and all that stuff you're keeping your concept in mind which is very important this is my season of life and i feel like it'd be really cool to put somewhere in there that it's false to think we hit achievement at some point if we stop growing we die and what i've been doing recently and this is tremendously as someone who wasn't naturally a lyricist and who was more into chords and melodies this literally has helped my songwriting and taken it to a whole new level so when i'm <clears throat> writing if you've watched my other videos you've probably seen me talking about this so when i'm writing i will just write down exactly what i said it's false to think we hit achievement at some point if we stop growing we die that doesn't even sound like a song lyric, but I have the visuals and the words that I want. And so once I have that on paper, I can take that and turn it into something that's singable. Um, and a lot of the times that can actually be singable if you work with the melody. So right now we have Run my tub and pop that top can do And I think there needs to be something before the chorus. <laughs> and also I think I'll play that music differently in the verse to kind of contrast. Of the because the chorus is strummed like this. So I need something like a little bit more chill in the verse. <laughs> Take it all. Run, run the tub and pop that top. The time is now to take it all. Folks to think that when we hit our goals, when, when we hit the top. False to think when we hit the top. We can't. I don't know. Run the tub and pop the top. The time is now to take it all. False to think we hit the top and then we can't. We cannot fall. This, which would be like a kind of a cold bridge. Growing and growing, and it's not growing and growing, and it's always showing. If we're not growing, and then we are dead. Growing and growing, and it's always showing. If we're not growing, and then we are dead. Something like that. Um, so, as you can see, it's sort of a collection of ideas. Um, 
So that's basically how you sketch out the song. I have the first verse, I have the chorus, I have the bridge. So really the only other thing I would need is verse two. And usually it's similar to verse one, but you wanna make it different enough to create some contrast and newness to keep someone listening and to keep it, you know, a fun experience to hear your music. So I can make a part B to this video um, because this is already kind of long, but I wanted to show like the real time version of the creative process as if it matters and I'm famous. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like hopefully this has been helpful to just sort of like take you along the journey. So maybe you can take it a similar journey yourself and go from go from nothing to something. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, drop them below. I'd be happy to answer. Um, and yeah, gee, have times changed since I was making videos a year ago. Um, thank you for those who have been watching from the very beginning. I hope you've seen some kind of evolution with my songwriting. I hope it's better than it was because I'm always learning and growing. Um, but yeah, check out my music if you're curious what I'm up, uh, what I've, what I've been up to. I will link it below. I just released 10 songs on vinyl and Spotify and all the streaming sites. You can pre-order the vinyl if you want to. I'm literally trying to sign every single album because I think it, I think it's cool. If I was buying an album from an artist, I would want it signed. Um, so yeah, buy a signed album, guys. It's been a journey. And I just thank you guys for coming along with me. And I hope to make more videos like this because I feel like there's such cool people here and I want to keep it going. I don't want to just have this train stop rolling. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Drop your questions below and uh, check out the album. <clears throat> Let me know what your favorite song is. I'm really curious because they're all very different and very awesome because the, like I said, Luminaire's producer David Barron produced the album so it's really, really good. Um, check it out and uh, yeah, happy writing guys. See ya in the next video. Dinosaur.